for being here. Thank you so much for coming. Now, Madeline, we're so thrilled that you're here. You just got back from Paris Fashion Week. Uh, talk to me about that trip. How was it? What was the highlight? Uh, my last three years of my life, <laughs> maybe, of my life expectancy. How? Well, OK, so I had a few days off before I needed to be in Paris. Right. So I was like, let's just, why don't we make a stop over in Italy? Why don't we just, like, go make pasta, mm -hmm. go truffle hunting, you know? Yeah. You just, just enjoy it. And so we, we go, we have a stopover in Zurich, and then we, Wonderful. beautiful, yeah. and then we land in Florence, and town. we get to, <laughs> wonderful town, <laughs> and we get to where we're staying, and which wasn't an hour and a half after we landed, and I realized my passport has just gone <gasps> It's gone. No. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I'm panicking. And it's also, like, I, I don't even know what time it is. Like, back here, I'm, I'm calling everybody. I'm freaking out. And so I got maybe a, a few hours of sleep, got up, went to the consulate mm. in Florence. Thank God there was one. Spent the whole day there. Got an emergency passport. Great. And the really, really, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, Italians, Italians but, are easy. Like, oh, your passport. Yeah, Fabiana. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Andiamo. Andiamo. Yeah, here we go. Uh, andiamo. Yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 grazie. And so I say, I say that to the nice, wonderful woman at the counter. I'm like, grazie. And she says, um, where are you going? And I tell her, um, I'm going to Paris. I have to be in Paris. And she says, you can't go to Paris with this. And I was Oh, on a temporary passport, they will not let you into France. No, France is right. one of three yes. countries. Yes. Of course, as it would be. Yes. That you can't travel to with an emergency passport. So you just couldn't go? So, well, no. They, they, no, it's never the answer. <laughs> the answer is always, yes, yes, I can. I can go. And so, cut to 36 hours later, I'm in a sprinter van under a blanket, <laughs> crossing the Italian-French border. Stop. Hey. <laughs> but that's like, what, how many, that's like a, what, a 16-hour drive? 12. 12-hour 12 12 drive, yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I was largely asleep for the most of it, but I could feel the van stop. <gasps> and I was like, I was dead asleep, and I was, <gasps> I could feel it stop, and I, I heard our driver, bless his soul, he's in my will now. <laughs> he gets out of the car, and I hear him talking, going back and forth between uh, between him and some border patrol. Oh, wow. And and we're just there, and my heart's just like beating out of its chest. <laughs> and he gets back in the car. He's like, the French. <laughs> <laughs> no hate to the French. I love France, but he's like French people. So you're in. The in a sprinter van yes. with a blanket over you, yes. illegally crossing a border. Well, it's not technically illegal. <laughs> <laughs> because, For France, it is. Well, the lady, For France, the, the, lady the, the, the Italian consulate, mm -hmm. said you could go by ground, <laughs> which I think she was. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you, for a friend. Samantha? So you yeah. just went under a blanket because you were cold. Sure. I was sleeping. Yeah. I was taking yeah. a nap. Sure. I was so tired. Hang on. But you made it into France. Yes. Yes. And you got to, and you went to Fashion Week, yes. and you had a great time. You had a great time. Wow. Yeah. That is a phenomenal way to get in there just to do a bit of truffle hunting. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then France went on strike, so I wasn't sure I could get home. So here we are. And here you are, and thank God you made it.